Well, we're here today to really bring together uh, the uh, leaders of nonprofit organizations, for profit organizations, and government agency advocates to all come together to start talking about how we can build relationships with each other to support rather than to compete against each other. She's doing such a great job with helping uh, young, young females get their lives together and to transition into adulthood. So, Amanda, what did the event mean for you and us just meeting and talking? I feel like getting your, your flyer and connecting with you was a huge benefit to my kids that we, we work, work with because I've been trying to find like connections to kind of help the kids learn things about financial things, um, housing options, any options to help them grow because I've, been, I've only been in my role for a year and a half and I don't know a whole lot about Absolutely. setting up someone or setting up a team because when I was doing it, you know, I had a group of people helping me. So just kind of getting connections to help set them up because currently I'm helping a 20 year old trying to find services for her own because she will be moving out from our program in April. Thank you so much, man. It's, it's great working with you. And she's in Littletown, Pennsylvania, outside of Gettysburg. So she found me and I, I'm going there. So Carmen, tell us a little bit about why how we work together. I'm on the yes, advisory yes, board. You're on the advisory board. And I was I talked to Vince a little earlier about what we do at PACS, how we work with community organizations okay. and in the greater Harrisburg area and we do different projects for parents, children, and we really look forward to talking to our community members to give us the advice on what type of it, and things to do for the community. Oh, greetings. My name is Carmen Henry Harris. I am the Director of Community Outreach and Relations for Penn State University PACT, Parents and Children Together. And Parents and Children Together is a community university partnership between community stakeholders in the greater Harrisburg region and Penn State investigators. And we promote the health and well-being of children, youth, and families from diverse backgrounds through culturally sensitive community engaged projects and we really appreciate all the individuals that come and serve on our community advisory board and Dr. Mike Eskridge is part of our community advisory board and we do a lot of things in the community and we look forward to what they say and this is a flyer of ours of what we do and we're always looking for um, volunteers, participants and community advisory board members. So please uh, feel free, look us up on Facebook, um, look for me, Carmen Henry Harris and I'd be more than happy to serve talk to you about it and I serve in many capacities. Oh, to, today's event was great, Vince. It really talked a lot about the collaboration, which is a lot of what we do with PACT. You know, collaborating with individuals and different organizations and groups and people in the community because that's what makes things work. When you collaborate, you definitely elevate. And it was very great for that. And I am so happy that uh, Mike created this uh, for us to come together. It was a very great experience. My affiliation with the organization is I am the actual community liaison of the Bible Way Family Support Center working directly with Dr. E. And today I'm here um, on behalf of that program, but also my organization, the Franklin County Tigers Adult Amateur Football Program. I'm the head coach um, of the last eight years. You know, um, for today, really, it's all about networking. Networking with other organizations because uh, my program, the Tigers, we, you know, are here for adult men. Um, between the ages of 18 and 35, a lot of guys who are former high-level athletes at the collegiate level, some pro guys, some high-level high school players who didn't make it for whatever reason, you know, and we do a lot of counseling things within my organization. And so being here allows me to connect with other organizations who may be able to help our young men. You know, we have a lot of fathers on our, uh, pro, uh, in our program. We have a lot of husbands, you know, so there are um, resources here that would help them within our program. So one of the things that we're doing when everyone walks in here is we're handing out door prize tickets. We have a lot of great prizes for everyone to take home and enjoy and really give out to whoever they want to, you know, looking forward to a great event here today. 
I met a lot of new people. It's, it's a wonderful event and uh, I really feel the sentiment of collaboration. You know, we, we, we can't be in silos. This is something many of us have been saying for a long time. And so to have an event and an initiative that really connects us to see how we can support and help each other uh, is, is going to be really wonderful in, in future growth and collaborations. I'm grateful to be here. Moving Circles is a group of folks who are focusing on building beloved community here in Carlisle and Central PA. And uh, we started at a potluck at the YWCA back in 2016, where we said, you know, we don't want this Martin Luther King event to be one day a year. Like, what could we actually do that would be in our consciousness every day of the year? and that would help bring our community together. So we called a circle and said, who feels called to be in a learning conversation about building beloved community here in Carlisle? And we've met once a month, every month, since June of 2016. Um, our group has sort of spawned a few other initiatives, so Not In Our Town Carlisle is another group, and the Community Responders Network is another group, and um, Community Responders Network responds to bias incidences when they occur with advocacy and care. And uh, the Not In Our Town group does education and prevention workshops and educational programs, really with an eye towards making sure we have a welcoming, inclusive, and safe community. The intent of this first event was just for us to get to know each other and to come out of being uncomfortable, building relationships, new relationships, and this is just a start. And I think it went very, very well. We look at people talking, sharing, and people getting interested. And we're gonna take it to the next level. And we thank you, Vince, and uh, I want to put a shout out as this film, uh, this video will be going out to all of the uh, members here. But I'd like for you to uh, uh, thank of Vince, our biographer, as someone that you might want to work with your organization.